If you're wondering whether you might be able to design and build your own foundations, I'm here to tell you that it's completely possible and show you how with as little as a tape measure and a pen and paper you can do just that. Hi everyone, it's Jeremy here to help you build and manage your own projects and for this example let's focus on a typical house extension. So here's the existing house and let's sketch on the proposed walls and add the dimensions which we've found out by measuring the walls of the existing house. A typical strip foundation will be around 600 millimeters wide by 250 millimeters thick for a typical extension wall. Now let's superimpose the foundations below which are centered on the walls and if they are 600 millimeters wide which is 0.6 meters this is the approximate dimensions for our surface area of concrete and the external walls will measure around 320 millimeters in width give or take depending on what insulation you're using and whether you're using timber frame or brick cavity wall of course remember it's always a good idea to get these dimensions confirmed by a structural engineer if you're doing anything larger than a few square meters and talking of good ideas, it really helped me on YouTube if you could hit me a like and consider subscribing for more of this content. Now back to the concrete and I'll often do this measuring using a 3D drawing as it's about volume not area. So because you need the three dimensions it's easier to measure with a 3D model and it is very easy to create your own foundations model in a CAD program. Here I'm using SketchUp which is free to download and you can see how quickly I'm doing this and although it's been speeded up a little bit it's still just a few minutes of my time. You can see my other video here as to how I do these types of drawings in detail for all of my projects. However if I haven't modeled my own I'll just use the 2D drawings or sketches which we did earlier, take the plan area of the concrete shown here in green and then multiply by the depth to get the overall volume and we measure that in cubic meters written like this with the small number three showing it's cubed. So we said the depth was likely to be 250 millimeters or 0.25 meters. So now we can work out our concrete volume by using the formula length by width by height. So we can get our approximate volume of concrete and voila, here is our cubic meters, which we now know to make up our order from. In terms of how deep to make the foundation trench, not that it affects the concrete you're ordering, I'll use the existing house foundations as a guide and I'll build to the same depth. See my other video about setting out your foundation trenches here. But remember, for something as large as a home extension, you need to get your dimensions and design confirmed by an engineer if you're submitting anything to your local building control department. So I'll send these drawings which we've just completed here off to our newly appointed structural engineer. Now an approximate cost for an engineer's fee for this will depend on the overall structure as well as the founds and they might have steel beams to design for example but usually around two to three percent of the overall build cost might be about right as a guide which i think that's what they do with their fee scales and there'll probably be that on top to consider if you're in the uk at least if you do employ a structural engineer you'll end up with a set of drawings looking uh, a bit like this pretty similar to our own drawings but with all this other stuff such as the strength of the concrete which in turn gives the mix ratio of cement to sand to aggregate which you will need when you're mixing to create your concrete on site and the type of steel mesh that's required and a whole load of other stuff for you to enjoy. If you're applying for any building regulations permission, you'll have to get an engineer's certificate anyway.
Now that we know the amount of concrete in total required, we can get down to ordering the stuff. And in the next video, I'll talk about how to choose the right mix and answer the big question, shall I mix myself or go with a ready mix company that deliver the concrete ready mixed and ready to pour? So thanks a lot for staying till the end. As always, leave any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.